Welcome to Kat's Confession Cam, aka my no buy update, which is an absolute abysmal failure. So <clears throat> if you are, if you don't remember, um, or you're new here, firstly, I wouldn't recommend this being the first introduction to my videos, but whatever. If you, <laughs> I started a no buy at the start of the year and I was doing okay with it. Now, what happened was I think started Matt, no, April, I took a break of doing updates. I was planning on continuing my no buy or low buy, um, but I wasn't doing updates because life was busy and I had birthdays and it was essentially like four birthdays and a funeral in my family. I went from doing quite well. So my rules were that I could buy one product for review purposes a month and then nothing else. I don't need new socks. I don't need new underpants. I don't need new anything. And if I did need something I could replace or um, once I've used up that category, I can buy something new then. Anyway, that again, that went, that totally was an absolute failure in the last couple of months. I think my birthday was a hard thing. Um, I was like, oh, I can buy this because it's my birthday and oh, I've got this, these codes coming into my email because it's my birthday month and all that kind of shit. So all that was sort of happening. Also, and this is, I think this is what, I, th I remember this happening when we we're in lockdown. So I sort of feel like to some degree being a parent in winter is a bit like lockdown, <laughs> but I know that when I was in lockdown, uh, back at, or towards the start of the pandemic, um, there's a lot of like upgrading things. There's a lot of like researching things and buying things online and, you know, little luxuries and whatnot. In the last month or two, I've been getting heavily into sort of indie nail polishes, um, which means that I placed a couple of orders um, and I'm enjoying playing with them. So I'm enjoying doing my nails a couple of times a week. It's sort of my like little thing to do in the evening. So I don't hate it, but I did spend money in that area. And recently I've been getting into the sort of niche fragrances, which is not good. So if you have been there, I am a fragrance person. I wear fragrances every day. To me, it's like clean underpants, brush your teeth, fragrance. They're like the three things that make me feel like I've got my shit together. So I wear a fragrance every single day. Um, but I have been very limited with the sort of um, fragrances that I like because I get headaches from fragrances. Now what actually happened was, so I usually use like, sort of like citrus or fresh fragrances because they make me feel very happy for one um, and they don't trigger headaches for me um, or very rarely do. So they're the ones I tend to stick to. However, I was in the shops, this was a good month ago, and I was behind someone on the escalator who just had this like waft of like candy, um, fairy floss sort of smell going on. And I was just like, oh my God, I should have asked them what they're, what they're wearing because I, I just was like, I, I want to smell like that. I used to like sweet fragrances back when in my early 20s and I haven't got any sweet fragrances at the moment. All the fragrance I have, fragrances I have are quite clean, quite crisp. And I was like, I am on the hunt for like the perfect sweet fragrance. So I've gone down this rabbit hole of internet forums and reviews and websites and stuff where I have been finding fragrances. And to be honest, I have spent too much money on fragrances. Um, yeah, and it's a bit of a weird one because a lot of them I can't access in Australia in store. So I've been blind buying some stuff online, which is hugely risky when fragrances give me headaches. Um, I just returned one uh, today that I had a little sample of and the full size. And it has given me a headache from last night, eight o'clock through to now, which is four o'clock. I, when I tell you fragrances can trigger headaches and make me feel sick, I'm not joking. And this particular one, I can't handle. I have a quite expensive one coming tomorrow that I've blind purchased and I'm hoping I love it. Oh my God. Um, because it's the most expensive fragrance I've bought in the last while. Um, I'm hoping that being satisfied with that and this prolonged headache uh, from another one. I'm hoping that I 
stop <laughs> overly researching fragrances and I just calm the hell down because not only is my bank account screaming at me, but my headache is screaming at me and I just, I don't need this many fragrances. So yeah, I, I have not been good. My low buy has not, has not been a good thing. I've spent way too much money on nail polish and fragrance lately. I thought makeup and skincare was a bad enough uh, hobby to have. Fragrance and nail polish, next level, next, next level. Anyway, so that is my confession. What does it mean? It means I've been absolutely garbage at this no buy. And I'm hoping since it is currently the 24th of June, starting July, and I'm even hoping now, I don't need anything anymore, but starting July, I'm gonna get back on it. And for July, August, September, October, I'm hoping I buy absolutely nothing. Or if I need to buy something, it's again, replacing and sticking to the old rules that I had at the start of this, um, because I need to save up money to um, counteract all the damage I've done in the last couple months, because it has been ridiculous. And yeah, and that leaves me some wiggle room that like when holiday releases come out, I can start looking at them, but I need to be really good for the next four months because I have been really bad for the last two. So that is it. My update is very sad. Sorry, I can't inspire you more. Uh, some things that I have noticed though, in terms of um, definitely discount codes and sales, like end of financial year sales, birthday sort of uh, discount codes and stuff, they have been getting me, yes. Um, but also I've noticed that at in the evening, and this is where like something like doing my nails or something is actually helpful. Um, in the evenings when I'm sort of just chilling and I'm just playing my phone, Inevitably, I will get onto some website where I'm looking and browsing something, whether it's a sale, whether it's something that's been suggested on Instagram, whatever it is, that I think is my biggest sort of, when you're tired and you're sort of like not thinking straight, you're like, oh yeah, that looks good. Add that to the cart and what it, and then, yeah, I just need to, I think I just need to put my phone down in the evenings. Enjoy a TV show, enjoy a book, enjoy a hobby. I actually did I, get, I did actually get a sort of like needle stitch kind of thing, which I might start doing in the evenings. So I've got to find ways to put my phone down and not look at all the deals and stuff going on. Cause I feel like every week there's something new. Every week I feel like I need, I've got to update something or replace something. And it's just, it's not the case. So uh, yeah, this is my time starting July. We're back on it. We're going to, really stick to it this time because I completely went off the ha uh, handles last time um, and it I'm gonna smell good hopefully but my bank account is very sad and I still stand by though if I transfer my money out of my bank account to a joint savings account that I don't touch it really halts spending because I end up having to wait until payday and then I have to think about it and by the time I think about it I'm like oh, I don't really need it so I'm gonna keep doing that I'm gonna to try to occupy myself with other things in the evening um, and I'm hoping that will be helpful. So anyway, it is a very sad update, but we're back on it, baby. So wish me luck. Let me know if you have been doing a low buy or no buy this year and how are you going? Are you stronger than me? Are you Have you done better than me? I really hope your successes far outweigh my failures because, um, they have been quite spectacular actually. So yeah, let's get back on it and I'll chat to you in the comments. A big thank you to my members for supporting this channel and I'll see you in the next one, which may be a fragrance video, who knows, we'll see, bye.